Hey everybody, if you're wondering what you're looking at, this is the beginnings of my new red clawed crab tank. I had a little partition in there and I just sort of had it propped up with some rocks and sand and stuff. And I decided to do it right. I decided to strip the tank out, dry everything off, and then seal the piece of Lexan in there with some silicon. So it occurred to me that this would be a good opportunity before I go any further to have a look at that and talk about the silicon I used to do this because the silicon I used to do this, if you can see right there, is GE silicon number two. Now most people will say you cannot use silicon number two because it's got this mold free, fights mold, mildew, fungus, and all that kind of stuff on there. I'm not really sure why that's on there. It gives the impression that they have some sort of added chemical or something in there, some sort of um, antimicrobial agent that is in the silicone and possibly leaches out over time. I guess that's what people are concerned with. That's, that's just not the case. There's no concern with that. As long as you've allowed the silicone to properly and fully cure, which usually takes longer than people think, uh, I know the packaging usually says like ready to use in 10 minutes or you know 30 minutes waterproof. Give it a couple of days before you actually start thinking about putting animals in the aquarium. Now I did this a couple of hours ago and I will start tinkering with the aquarium later today. I'll let it set up enough that I can start putting some rocks and you know just testing some ideas but I won't have any animals in this tank for several more days and that will give me ample time for the silicone to cure fully before you know it, it contaminates any water or anything like that so what is the difference between silicon number one and silicon number two well I'm not a chemist so I can't pretend I know exactly what the difference is but it's got to do with the way they cure and this one is called an acetoxy cure it's a very low vapor low fumes I did this right here in the basement I my face literally right over this you know closed in area of this tank and I had no issues with fumes or my eyes watering or anything like that the silicon number one when it cures it releases acetic acid which is basically vinegar so you can't really use that stuff inside it's tough to work with it's difficult to breathe when you're using that stuff and if I was using it in this little you know an enclosed area inside that fish tank I would have had to have a respirator on or have done this outside on a breezy day and since it's raining today and I knew I was going to be doing this inside that's one of the reasons that I chose the silicon number two so another reason to choose the silicon number two over the silicon number one is while silicon number one adheres well to glass and if you were going to glue glass to glass or seal a glass seam that's fine but silicon number one does not adhere very well to other substances and since I'm using Lexan as my divider here the silicon number two actually does a better job at binding to other material besides glass. Now neither number one nor number two binds well to acrylic, but Lexan is the brand name and it's polycarbonate. It is not acrylic, it's polycarbonate. So I should have no issues. I'm also not dealing with any high pressure. It's not a um, sort of a foundational piece. It's not a structural piece. In other words, if it does fail, no big deal. It's it's not a seam. My fish tank's not going to leak. The end panel's not going to come off. It's not part of my sump's construction. It's just a little divider. So it's not going to have a lot of weight pushing against it, and I'm not really concerned about whether it's fully waterproof or the seal ever breaks and it leaks a little bit. So using this low-grade silicon number one, silicon number two, either one, again, these are pretty much identical. It really boils down to... Um, the fumes that are produced when it cures and the way, you know, basically the way it cures, I, who cares? You just wait a couple days, either or. One produces a lot of fumes, silicon number two does not. So that's a difference. And then, of course, the silicon number two adheres better to non-glass uh, material, whereas the silicon number one adheres better glass on glass. Having said that, they're both still a fairly low-grade adhesive slash sealant. I wouldn't use them if I was building a big, you know, 100-gallon tank myself or something like that. I would look into other types of silicon-based 
um, sealants and adhesives if you're going to do something like that. I don't know enough about it because I've never done that, so I'm not going to get into those kind of details, but I will throw that out there that if you're going to use the silicon number one or number two, only use it for small uh, jobs like this. I guess if you're doing a little 10 gallon tank and you were going to use it to, to construct a tank this size, it's probably would hold the pressure in on this. Uh, I had considered sort of rebeating the corners, but I looked at the um, end here and there's no bubbles, there's no separation, there's no nothing. So just because the, you know, the material on the inside has come off, the actual sealed part is still fine. So I'm not even going to bother resealing the tank. It still holds water just fine and everything else is, you know, not an issue for me. So there you go. There's some myths busted about the silicon number two. It is perfectly safe to use in your aquarium. Again, I'm not really sure where they get this mold free uh, claim on there. It may have something to do with the way it cures and once it's cured there's a different isotope of the silicone or a different polymer of the silicone. I'm not a chemist. I don't know the ins and outs of how all that stuff works but I do know that fundamentally when they cure silicon number one and silicon number two are basically aquarium safe silicone and you can use either or. So there you go. That was your little two cents on silicon. I'm going to get on with working on this tank gently later this evening. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of the updates I got on this one. Don't forget this one is my red clawed crab tank and hopefully I'll get it stocked up here over the next few days. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.